Greetings, loyal viewers, and welcome back. So, um, it's late in the night. I don't really have too much to say, except I got four uh, episodes that I still have to react to from the Bad Vent calendar, and we're going to be doing that right here, right now. I don't normally uh, do uh, more than two videos at most in one reaction, but because I want to really get caught up as quick as possible, so that way I can wrap up the rest of the month of December especially wrap up between uh, now and December 25th, I feel it's necessary. So, without further ado, let's get it on. Ken Icarus presents Bad Vet Calendar. I'm sure many people expect <laughs> I'm probably going to do that for the rest of them. Here. Rebel Assault 2, Masters of Terras Cassie, or maybe even the most recent Battlefront 2, but... My god, this is probably the worst Game Boy Advance game I've ever played. I got it with my GBA when it first came out, I hated it as a kid, and I hate it just as much nowadays. And with most of the bad games we've covered so far, I really do not know what to say about it since all the footage here speaks for itself. Yeah, especially yeah, since this is, is barely two minutes in total, in opinion, the including with the, uh, made, letting you Chrono Dot GG and repetitive locations in the entire saga. But the game is also a platformer beat-em-up where you take up so much of the screen and move so stiffly that taking damage... Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Go back, go back. Was that an orb I just saw? Yeah, that was an orb. Look at that. Look at that still image. Is, it doesn't that look kind of like an orb from Spyro 2? They really are that lazy. Not not Caddy, but uh, the game developers who made this. They were really that lazy. Wow. Be inevitable most of the time. You have a completely pathetic list of moves to play with that barely work their way into the gameplay itself or change how you approach battles. Your force abilities are just a total pain to use that hinder your progress more than anything. Yeah, look, that, that, that looked like an orb. Like, how could you be that lazy? Crunch when jumping around, make you do one thing. Walk right. You walk, <laughs> attack a few times, you walk, attack a few times, and the stage just stops when it feels like it. Fun, right? After which you'll have these moments of flying around in first person. Yeah, and people people say Battlefront 2, the most recent one, is the worst Star game. Wars game. I'd love to say a bit more about it, but I can't even make out what the hell is going on here. What is this? What was that? Jesus Christ, what is that? God. And for something that looks as bad as this, the fact it runs like crap makes it even more of an insult. Simpsons Road Rage looks better and plays smoother with fake G. GBA 3D. So what's this game's excuse? Yeah. You can't tell me Star Wars didn't have the budget. Yeah, um, for this is not the kind of Star War I want any part of. This is more like Star Wars. Yeah, especially. In the end, all I can say yeah, is especially since really Star Wars is one of the biggest franchises video. of all time. Of course, rough and irritating, and it gets everywhere. <laughs> God damn it, Caddy. Ugh. Yeah. I'm not referring to, uh, like I said, I wasn't referring to Battlefront 2 that came out in the mid-2000s, that Battlefront 2. I even own a uh, digital version of it on my Xbox One, and it's still just as fun as I remember it now. A little a little too easy for my uh, current skills, but still really fun. Um, this does not look like it's fun. Then again, it's based on what is arguably the worst of the prequels, Attack of the Clones. Which is saying a lot, since the prequels, I still stand by, are major stinkers. And this, and I, and this, coming from someone who actually likes what they're doing with Star Wars now. For the most part. Um, so yeah, not too much else to say. So, for the next Bad Vent Calendar episode, uh, episode 14, this one is from a game that he also reviewed a long time ago. What's that, you may ask? Take it away, Caddy. Santa Claus saves the. <laughs> you best put seatbelts on your brains, kids. Because I'm about to fucking plow them into the nearest tree. Oh, yeah. We're getting that nostalgic here. So, without, without, without further said, without further ado, let's go ahead and get into the video. Cat Icarus presents Bad Man Calendar. <clears throat> first played this game on this long month six years yeah, ago. Yeah, it really deserved it grown, that. It? I actually didn't believe it was real. I thought Yeah, the game me was neither. Fake. And that's just from someone who watched the friggin' review, thing, no, which I highly recommend. To find out, and still am today, 
that this was an official PS1 title. In Santa Claus Saves yeah. the Earth, Santa Claus has and this is from a system that gave us really good 2D uh, side-scrolling-ish kind of games like Tomba and Klonoa. Well, those were technically 2.5D. That's it. That's the story. She'll blow up the yeah, that's pretty freaking lame. About to deliver presents. Why? And for the actual game itself, let's Why? Yeah. Look at that. Yeah. Despite it being on a system half the bit count and coming out. Yeah, exactly. For this game. I know. I'm not putting DKC down. It's great. I'm just pointing out the total incompetence of whoever made this for the PS1, especially when the PS2 was already two years old. It's a similar story yeah, to Party exactly. Squad, actually, but at least Party Squad has vague hints of originality and variety in the gameplay and is technically a sequel and is actually rather fast-paced in comparison. In Santa Claus Saves the Earth, Santa does that very deed by walking in the slowest animation possible for a 2D platformer, jumping like he's on yeah. the moon, flipping around like an Olympic diver, and smacking people with a sack that's such an ineffectual attack that he decides to automatically back off with a moonwalk whenever he does it. It's almost like Mr. Claus himself Dun. is trying to escape this Dun. travesty and with hit detection Dun. like this and completely put yeah. the um, ability. I'm going to stop here for a second. Um, but yeah, like I said, if you haven't seen the review of, what he, of when, he, uh, when, he, when he reviewed this game many years ago back when he was starting the show, I highly recommend it. I'm not a big fan of all of his older works, but that's definitely one of the few that I especially like watching around the holidays. In fact, I might actually watch it again after, after I'm done doing my uh, reactions here. So it is not to mention countless inescapable pits. I do not blame him. Oh, and the <laughs> music sounds like this. <laughs> oh God! Please stop! Stop! Combine that with the I don't want to lose my dinner. Level obstacles and colors all over the place, and what I can only describe as a cave system for mice with small families, and you get a game representing the total opposite of the holiday it's set within. Joyless and hateful. There's also a version yeah. of Game Boy Advance, in case you were curious, and it's exactly the same thing, but it sounds even worse, is zoomed in way too far, and slows down like Rudolph with polio. It just goes to show oh. how little effort wow. was put into this game in the first place when it looks identical and plays identically on a Game Boy Advance or a PS1. Maybe that's why he has a red nose. Santa. Logic doesn't halt Santa. Sanity does not halt Santa. He can save the earth on any device at any time at home or on the go while smacking people around with his sack of heavy duty goodies. <laughs> Chris Pringle, if you're watching this, don't even think about giving this game to me. I'd rather have a lump of coal. Yeah. Because <laughs> then at least I can use that for uh, for artwork. You know. Uh, especially for uh, sketches and whatnot or background work. Yeah, it could work. I mean, I haven't tried it, but I'm sure it could work. So, in continuing from games he has reviewed on his main channel, this is probably from one of my uh, personal least favorites. It's Balls 3D with a Z. Um, I think I've only seen that review maybe once or twice, and I, I barely remember it, honestly. So, hopefully, um, so I'm not really too enthusiastic of this one, but hey, it's the holiday season. Let's be a little optimistic. So, let's get into it. Yes, the Batman calendar. And that's a game that sucks this balls. balls. That's all you really need to know. But when I say this game sucks, at least I can say that it sucks 3D balls, the best kind of balls. Hey, I already <laughs> beat you to the joke. find themselves in some pretty sticky situations that you need to help them through. More specifically, by button mashing any single thing you can on the controller until the animated 3D models contort in such a disturbing way that they apparently hurt the other opponent. Yeah, this is a fighting game, the worst one I think I've ever played, and one of the most important aspects of a fighting game, you know, being able to see what you're doing to be able to react to fighters animations yeah. and even see what And this is unfortunate since fighter, this is a genre that has games like Shaq Fu and its sequel which 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 should never exist. This abomination and went into debug mode to fiddle with it for a bit. How can you be proud of this? Even if you know how to play the game, how can you even see what you or the opponent are doing and possibly code the game to be better? Is this a glitch or a special move? This is the main issue with Balls 3D. In the vain attempts of the team trying to make points. That one looked like an ostrich to you. Each other on a 16-bit console all that was the effort weird. went into just making sure that they animate on the screen. This means everything else from character designs, game performance, and even functioning game mechanics were sacrificed just so we could see these beautiful creatures in motion. I'd rather watch this as some kind of experimental SNES art project or something, not play it because it's unplayable. Every character <laughs> yeah. is exactly the same, just a collection of balls that morph, slip, and slide around each other. Which, if you want to be pedantic, I guess is what every three- Yeah, which basically almost- this almost seems like a beat-em-up version of Knack. 
Now, granted, I haven't played Knack, but I haven't heard that many great things about it, with probably the only close exception being my older brother, since he is a, since he's both a PS3 and PS4 owner. Um, that's basically what this seems like, at least in terms of the character designs, only instead of, uh, of detailed blocks and whatnot, they, they're just rounded balls. And not, not even that super detailed from what I can tell, especially when put against these, uh, backgrounds, if you can even call them that. 3D model of a video game character is like, but that's only the skeleton where the skin is placed on top of. I'm fully aware that adding more on top of these models might have been impossible on the SNES at the time, but was this final result worth it? Star Fox is dated by a long time, absolutely, but at least you can at least the first one anyway. And appreciate the steps forward it took for 3D gaming, and you can tell what things are supposed to be because now Star Fox 64. That this, that's still a good this game. game sums up everything I this was about. not. Oh. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Each other. Hmm, maybe that's actually a good thing. Bad analogy, shut up. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there's the good old classic caddy humor. Uh, not to say there hasn't been none of that in the bad event calendar thus far, but that was actually a really, really good one. So, kudos to you, caddy. Um, now here, we finally are getting, running on to yet another... Uh, bad vent entry that was from a review that he did i think like four years ago maybe longer and it was and it's one i also watch quite often it's for the game a very obscure thankfully obscure uh ps1 game called cheesy and you're about to see in a minute why it was for the best that this became that this still remains obscure so let's do it hold on uh didn't didn't register okay Oh! Yeah. I knew nothing about this game until it was given to me by my good friend Daz. Friend status pending. And cheesy yeah. is one of the ugliest things I've ever seen. With yeah, look at that game. And the models are Just and even look the at game, that. All the creative freedom in the world outside of the PS1 graphic restrictions. Yeah, it's, it's even worse. Look at this thing. This was supposed to sell games. Have you ever seen Sin yeah. City? You know who that yellow bastard is? The violent, disgusting pedo who can't get off unless he hears their victim scream? I'm convinced that yeah. he was based on him and then named after what he smells like. Everything wrong with <laughs> Yeah, exactly. And screaming at you and he makes a couple of similar jokes like that in the, the review. The story here is that you're a mouse that gets stuck in a cage in a castle only to be released by aliens. That's all you're gonna get. Then the game starts. Now, this is a 3D platformer and the first thing you notice is how it not only plays like Resident Evil with a top-down perspective and tank controls, but also gives you so much momentum and so little friction to your feet it's like piloting a submarine. You'll be steering into things and crashing into walls before even figuring out how to jump onto a higher platform, after which that absurd weight and momentum is carried over to side scrolling parts. Oh, well, I mean, after a long-ass loading screen. Then yeah. if you figure out how the controls work there, you could fall down a hole again into another long-ass loading screen, meaning you have to very awkwardly climb back up to the side-scrolling part after another loading screen. I mean, you can see how bad things are from the footage. You see how I'm almost moving around like I'm drunk? That's the controls. I dare you to try jumping on enemies with them. Sometimes the game even just doesn't let you defeat enemies when you clearly jumped on top of them. And you have yeah, to exactly. That's controls. very inconsistent. The basic squared and maze-like level designs I've ever seen with mouse holes that spit you out at unrecognizable places. And then just as you get the hang of one gameplay style, you're immediately thrown into another gameplay style. It could be... Yeah. Basically, that's one of the biggest problems of this game, as he states in his review. A jack of all trades, yet a master of bugger all. Be a top-down shooter where the gun does not work at all, or a sewer ride on a leaf where anything more than a vague tap of left or right bounces you off walls into debris, or lasts for minutes and minutes with fences and rocks getting in the way forever. Call me crazy, but I think I can see why Cheesy never caught on. Believe it or not, exactly. this is not the worst 3D platformer I've ever played. I mean, it's truly awful, but at least there's some attempt to make something worth looking at, even if it falls apart. Yeah, and I can and already guess uh, like what what's coming up like next after this one. So if you're looking at this right now and thinking, oh wow, this is bad. Well, <laughs> it just gets worse from now on, so hold on to your socks. I can only end this part of the bad rent calendar with one comment. Daz, you're an arsehole. You lost at least 12 friend points giving me this game. Yeah. <laughs> that would be like, um, that'd be like me if I, that would be, this, this is kind of like if I gave my friends something like, oh, I don't know, and just giving, and just giving away what I, my best guess is what the worst 3D platformer for him is, because, it's pretty much everyone else's, and that's freaking Bubsy 3D. That'd be like if I gave my friends Bubsy 3D and they didn't know about it, and once they played it, they immediately were like, nope, we're done. Yeah. 
And I don't even know why Daz did it. I don't know why. Maybe because, maybe because, like, some people, he just likes seeing him torture himself for his reviews, which, granted, is funny, but still. <laughs> um, but overall, um, I'm definitely looking forward to when he finally rips Bubsy 3D a new one. Because that's definitely, because I definitely look forward to that. Or I should say, or I should say, uh, ripping it into it twice. Yeah. So, I don't really have too much else to say. So, that's about all the time we got. Uh, if you liked the video, go ahead and comment, like, and or subscribe. And the other other suggestions, leave some in the comment section below. And as always, I'm King Gargantuous, and I'll see you all next time.